happy 4th of July, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This will be um, a relatively short video. Not as long as my previous video. I will leave a link above for my um, June makes. And also the t-shirt, some summer, uh, sold together for summer t-shirt dress. So, <clears throat> I am so excited by, uh, you can tell by the title, the month of July is all indie all month long. And so let me just tell you how I came up with this. So I was thinking earlier, probably back in March or something, um, cause I, you know, I do a lot of challenges, different challenges every month. So the month of July, I'm not doing any challenges. Um, in the month of August, I probably won't either. Um, we, we'll see. Something could easily, you know, sneak its way in there. So don't hold me to that because I do enjoy doing the challenges. But as I've been talking about being more strategic with my patterns and with the things that I am making, I absolutely love these indie pattern companies. If you do not follow uh, the Fold Line, who does a monthly pattern release every month of indie companies, follow the Fold Line here on um YouTube and Instagram, but I love her monthly uh, roundup. And then of course, uh, the link to the blog where you can see more indie patterns. And so um, over the past several months, I have been growing more and more in all of the indie patterns and just, I, I know they're more expensive, right? Than the big four commercial company. But what I'm finding with the indie patterns is, you know, you're supporting a small business. Um, you are supporting um, those who are putting their creative juices to work um, through um, pattern design, creating patterns, different things of that nature, and their instructions are really, really, really clear. Um, I, of course, still like my big four. I absolutely love Mimi G um, and who's in um, with Simplicity, and I think Gertie is in with Butterick. Is she in with Butterick? I believe so. So I know those are two in particular that are connected with the big brands, um, but they also have their own patterns as well. So anyway, so when I say indie, I mean truly indie. These will be all indie companies. And so um, I'm so excited. And I was watching Saturday Night Stitch. Oh my gosh, what is her first name? You know your first name. Y'all know Saturday Night's uh, Saturday Night Stitch first name. I was watching one of her videos, and sorry that your name is escaping me, um, but um, she was talking. She said she was talking about something and briefly mentioned Indie Month Pattern Challenge or something like that. And I was like, huh? I never heard of that. So of course I had to go Google and everything like that. Well, I looked on Instagram and saw they have an Instagram page. Then a also um a blog post well normally from what i can tell on their website they do the indie month pattern thing every june but they decide to do it in july so this has nothing to do with that i was already planning this before i saw that but if anybody's interested in and i don't know if they do other challenges for i can't remember they may um, you might want to follow them. Um, but at any rate, I am so excited all the month of July in honor of today is 4th of July. Um, and obviously, 4th of July is, is an American um, uh, holiday. So happy 4th of July to everyone. And thank you to all those who serve. Um, definitely appreciate all of you. Um, but in all indie all month long is simply just independent companies in celebration of Independence Month sewing. And so let me just share with you my plans that I have. You know, Cashmere, you already know Cashmere is in the mix, already in the mix. So Cashmere sewing patterns will be in the mix. This will, I'll talk, um, you'll see this in my collective haul video, but guess what I got? Yay! I got my first sew over it pattern, and this is the Eve dress. I am so excited about doing this, and I am going to do this view here. Um, and so I am so excited about doing my first sew over it pattern. 
Um, I also have, and it's not with me, but from here on out, I'll just post up uh, pictures. Um, I have the, I ordered the Sewaholic, the uh, Holly Burn dress and the Alma blouse. I'll pop up pictures here. Um, they have not come yet. Uh, what I did not realize is shipping time is like three weeks from Canada to the United States. And so I'm still waiting. I think this is the third week. And so I should be receiving the pattern sometime this week. Um, so I was hoping to show them, but I did get both of those patterns. I'll link the pictures up above. Um, that's going into this month's plans. The Katie dress, I'll link this here. That is Mimi G. If you do, if you follow or subscribe to So So Death Magazine, you already know about that. Um, seam work, I am doing the York blouse. I will pop that up here. I've already printed and um, cut out the, I think I have to tape that one. Yes, I have to tape that one together, but I did print off the PDF um, and I uh, need to tape that one together. Colette, the Sorbetto. I am doing that. That one's already cut out. It's already taped together. Actually, that one is on the table. That may be the first one that go up um, this week. Um, also, By Hand London, the Poly Top. I'll pop that up right here as well. That is going on the table as well for the month of July. Uh, the the York, the Poly Top, the Sorbetto are all free downloads. So if you go to their websites, and if I remember, I will link um, I'll make sure to link the the uh, the websites below where you can get go right to the free pattern, and so um, and then I want to say I'm forgetting a couple. If I am, I will go ahead and pop pictures in here real quick to show you what I am making as I continue to talk. And so here's the deal: I am not making all of these all month. Um, so. For the Upton, I'm not looking to make another Upton dress, but Jenny Rushmore has a, if you have this pattern, she has a blog on how to hack this and just have a skirt. And so I wouldn't mind doing a skirt. And so I did download that as well. Um, and then, so every week, so the plan starting Sunday. So su starting Sunday, I believe that's July 9th, if I got it wrong, I'll correct that here but um july 9th every sunday you will have from me a sew and tail video and so what i will do is is um i'll probably film bits su such as maybe everything cut out laid out ready to cut maybe a little bit of the sewing um i don't have necessarily the best setup or arrangement for that so but then on Sunday, you will get a full review of that pattern, um, any parts I may have struggled with, what I like, did not like, whatever, you will get that review every single Sunday. And so um, there are so many, oh, oh, I forgot another one, closet case patterns right here, the caftan dress, uh, the Charlie caftan, gorgeous. Uh, the fold line just did a review and that was one it, it was three dresses they mentioned but that one yes i definitely want that 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 charlie caftan right here i i definitely want that so every week i'm only for the month of july i'm only doing four pattern companies this is just my selection for the month um and if somebody slide in there, they slide in there. But for the month, all the pictures, all the patterns I've shown you is my bucket of patterns I will choose from. Um, I'm not dedicating any pattern Sunday. Who knows who you may see on Sunday? Who knows what pattern I'll be showing during the review for? So every week is going to be a different pattern. Um, and so, uh, yeah. We will uh, see from Sunday to Sunday what I have for you, the sew and tell I will have for you. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. I'm so, so excited. I am following so many indie pattern companies, so many, and continue to follow more and more and more. So as the month goes on and you uh, watch the videos, uh, feel free to whoever I decide to sew and tell for that week. Um, say Sunday will be cashmere. I'm already a fan, but if there's another pattern in the cashmere line you think I will absolutely love, 
uh, which I'm sure I would, you can go ahead and leave it in the comments and say, hey, try this pattern. If you like that one, try this, you know, so it'll be a little bit more interactive weekly as well. Um, again, like I said, depending on the company that I do for that week, then suggest other patterns. I'll buy them. I bought all these with my own money and everything like that. So these are my own personal reviews and my take um, on it. So I'm very excited about doing it. I'm so excited about Indie Pattern Month um, all month long. So that's all I got. I don't have anything else. Um, and yeah, so that is it. And if you follow me on Instagram, I will probably throw up a sneak peek of what I'm working on. Might not share the pattern, but I will probably share more than likely what it is that I am working on. You'll see at least the layout um, of what I'm cutting out and who knows, you might see who, who I'll be working on. So that is it. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Um, and if there's any questions or comments, please leave them below. And also if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe uh, like this video thumbs up the video and um, I'm just loving all of the comments I'm loving all of the communications I'm loving the feedback I'm loving the help I'm loving the tips I'm loving it loving it loving it so this journey is continuing to grow and get excuse me I am so so sorry and get more and more exciting um, as the months go by and so um, yeah and most of everything I, I'm making has a purpose. Mostly it's for work, work, church. I can pretty much wear the same thing both places. But, um, and then also planning for um, August, which is our anniversary month. And I want to make three things, um, two which will be indie. One will be one of the uh, big four patterns. So anyway, that's all I got, everybody. You all have a blessed and wonderful happy fourth. And everybody else have a blessed day and have a blessed week. And we will see what I will sow and tell on Sunday.